Hi everyone, so today I'll be sharing with you a glimpse into my life as a student at Hofs and this is a day out of my midterms week. I woke up earlier to prepare for my morning exam and yeah, I mean like school is still mostly online right now but I still had a few lessons that I would take in person at, at school so this particular day I had a um, test online in the morning and then I had another test um, that was to be taken in person at school later on in the day. So I guess anyone else who's taking online lessons now would agree that the best way to start your day is actually taking a good old shower. And then breakfast. So to be honest, I'm not that much of a breakfast person. But then I realized that if I didn't have breakfast, I would get hungry by midday or so. So it's really good that I have just a bit to eat in the morning to start my day. And yeah. Oh, almond milk. Almond milk? Yeah. There's actually a whole batch of like 24 packets or something that my sister got for me when I first arrived in Seoul three months back. And until now, I'm still trying to finish them. It's not, it's not that I don't like them, I just don't love them, so it's taking me particularly long to finish it. So yeah, cereal for breakfast. Am I the only one that eats and like studies at the same time? I can't help it. And also, of course, I can't leave out. Coffee. There's this saying in like Korean that says um oru chuga, which means oro chugoro ice americano. I mean it, it completely applies to me just that I don't have americano. But still, yeah, I would rather have iced um coffee than hot coffee, no matter how cold the weather was. And yeah, this is just how I make my iced coffee at home. Um, just some instant coffee, ice cubes, and then go water. Save the planet, guys. Don't use plastic straws. And now, I can finally start my day. I have my coffee and I have my cereal. Now here, I'm actually just revising my notes um, before my test. This particular test that was coming up was on the mod of understanding Korean pronunciation. So yeah, you'd see graphs and diagrams of things like our voice box, I guess. And also like just different parts of our body and like our throat and our th tongue and like what goes where and what happens when you're trying to pronounce certain words. I mean, it's quite interesting because it's things that you already know, you know how to speak it, but then you never really thought about how the sound happens. Yeah, and finally, it's time for the test. And since it was an open book test, uh, what I did is that I had my MacBook open uh, for the test and then I had an extra old Windows laptop on the side that was um, referring to the presentation slides and notes so that I was able to just quickly refer to them. I'm not cheating, okay? This is not cheating. I'm just being well prepared for open book tests. I mean like, now that I'm thinking back, my professor actually probably went quite easy on us because the exam wasn't particularly difficult. You just had to know your uh, material as well. And since we were having an open book, you just needed to know where, where, what were. And probably that's like the bare minimum, minimum, I guess. But yeah, this is probably one of my favourite mods for this semester. And here, now that I'm all done, all I needed to do was to click the submit button. Yeah. 
feels good editing this now because I know that I got an A on this paper. Hee hee hee. Yep, so now that I was done with me uh, the morning exam, I was going to prepare a simple lunch for myself. So this innocent looking pack of emoji mushrooms were bought by me a couple days back and soon I would realize why this probably would not have been a good idea to live it a couple of days because yeah mushrooms go back quite fast. I was like handling it with my hands and realizing that the texture felt a bit odd and I took a whiff and I realized okay probably shouldn't eat it and yeah, I just ended up throwing the entire thing away. It's probably just one of the woes of staying by yourself. You do your groceries and then you know that there's this food inside your fridge but then you forget to cook them every time meal time comes around and then they go bad and you just have to throw them and you just feel like it's such a waste of money and waste of food. Yeah. I went on to cook my lunch anyway, it was just some simple stir fry of pork belly with perilla leaves and garlic. I'm quite sure I didn't leave garlic out of any meal. I also learned how to cook for one. So yeah, now that lunch is ready, I was just gonna dig in while revising some more of my notes before my next paper and I didn't want to have rice in case I got like sleepy what they call food comas so I just had um, meat and then went on with the rest of my day here I was just um, revising and reading up on local news in case there, any of that came up during the paper letter that day time to leave for school Yes, my shoes are kept in a drawer upstairs uh, at the top, so I have to climb to get to them. In this period of time, it wasn't that cold yet, like maybe 17, 18 degrees. So yeah, jacket was more than enough to get me to school in one piece. I don't live particularly near Hoffs, so yeah, I do need to take a bus and then a train before getting to school. But I don't know, I quite enjoy the walk. At least for now. Because not I don't need to be in school every single day. Anyway, anyone who's been to Seoul will know that Jingle Man, the subway is arriving. I don't particularly do anything while on commute, I guess I just listen to music. Finally at Red Up Station, which is the station for my school. Oh, the trees here were beautiful that period, but they are all bare now because we are into into into. Heading up to my class, located on the fifth floor, no elevator, so we have to take the stairs up. Picture time. Five PM paper waiting for the rest of my students, uh, classmates to, sh to show up. And then, yeah, done with that paper, so it's already night. Going off to meet a friend. And of course, fried chicken. Then another long trip back home. I mean, like, usually I can actually just walk home from the station, but because in Korea you can have up to four free transfers, so I usually just hop on the bus and then make my way home earlier. So, yeah, that's my day out of um, one of the days during my midterms week and thank you for joining me